everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is your friendly neighborhood farmer Raznak. We are back on no man's land and today we're going to be making some money. Yep, I got to sell the soybeans. The price is excellent right now for soybeans. We're looking at eleven seventy nine dollars per thousand. I have 24000 and some change in there. So we're talking over $25,000 we can make really, really quick. So we'll be doing that today. Also, I plan on selling some milk because we have milk and tons of it. Let's pull up our animal menu here real quick. Uh, right now we're sitting on 72 cows. We only have 104 liters in the small pen. I'm just keeping the animals in there to eat down this food because why? It's food. I don't want to like waste it. So once they've ate that food down, uh, I'm going to sell the slurry and stuff to Jamberry. He will probably be getting rid of that animal pen. But over here, we have 64 cows in the big pen. I've been feeding them daily. And uh, they seem to like it. The girls the girls really like it. We have quite a few calves. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at eight, nine, ten. I mean we've got we've got over a dozen calves. And the cows have been producing milk. Wonderfully, we have 16,072 liters. So we have two full loads of milk that we're going to sell. And let's see, milk prices we're looking at um, a high of 674 at the bakery. And the price is going up. So by the time we get there, we'll probably get a little bit more for that. I'm not sure what, when the best time to sell milk is with seasons. Uh, price is kind of low right now. So if we hold it, but I need the money. I, I need the money because I have plans for that money. So that's what we're going to be doing. All right, let's get to work. Let's get these soybeans out. And get the, them sold to see how much we get. Should be a pretty pretty decent sum. Pull here. Oh, don't get too close to that, Raz. Knock the top off. There we go. Our little, our little silo. It's it's not a very big silo. It's just a tiny little silo, but it works for us right now. Plus, I want to get these soybeans out. That way, the canola, which is ready to be harvested, I'll have a place to put it. I got to get with Lag Weasel and figure out a good time to do that. All right, go messing up, and then we uh, we can get the canola brought in because I'm going to record that, create an episode of it. Hope everybody's been doing well. I hope you had a great weekend. If I am recording this, it is Monday. Yes, today is Monday. I forgot what day it was. That's what happens when you work nights. You forget what day it is. I'm, I'm blaming on the nights. I'm not, I'm, I have nothing else to do with anything else. The fact that I forget what day it is. We just broke our mirror. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get these soybeans delivered to, oh, I can't even remember. Where was the best price? <laughs> Let's see. We're going to go to Vehicle Shop Grains. So we're just going up to the old default sell point. They're paying the best right now. They'll export it out of the area to other areas. So what do we got? Two, kind of a load and three quarters of a load in soybeans. Pretty nice. Like I said, I hope everybody had a great weekend. I did. I worked. But it wasn't too bad. It was a long weekend. This is the first weekend here where I live that they've kind of loosened the shelter at home restrictions. So, of course, everybody was out doing things. And sometimes people do dumb things. And I work uh, in a hospital. So... I work in a uh, emergency situation. I'm not going to say exactly where, but I I work in a place where uh, I'm needed when bad things happen. So that's we had a wasn't horrible, but it wasn't really slow either. <laughs> so, but hey, I got to earn my money. I got to earn my money because I, I, you know, someday I may buy a farm. You never know. And then I can record this stuff for real. Wouldn't that be fun? It'd be fun. I think it'd be fun. Alright, let's pull our 
grain wagon up here. Let's see how much we get for this first load. And the money is climbing. Really, what I want to spend money on is I need to get a baler because we're going to run out of storage for loose product quickly. Um, and that's $16,500 a load. That's not bad. Not bad money at all. But we're going to run out of storage quickly, and it just seems like bales, you can store a lot of volume in a small area. So that's the plan there. What is new in the world of Farm Sim? Well, the Modern Classics DLC from 17 is now available on 19, and it is free, which is great because I already paid for it once. Wouldn't want to pay for it again. And eventually, I think we're going to add that to this server. I like some of the JCB stuff. I like that older JCB, both the tractor and the telehandler, which will be nice additions. We do have the Polish pack in right now, which has that nice old JCB telehandler. Um, but we may just use the modern modern classics pack. I think we're going to add straw harvest to this map. I believe that is the intention. And i would probably be doing those updates later today to the map. Uh, like I was saying, it is Monday, and Monday means it is time for Raznax Random Rolls. Okay, enough with the announcer voice. Um, <laughs> so... Why we fill up the trailer here? Wish I could. Wish you could adjust the mirrors. I know there are some mods that you can. Really wish you could. Okay. So why that is loading? Let me um. Let me pull up Raznax random rolls here. So so far three of us have rolled. I rolled an 11. That's right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I just won $10,000 on a lottery scratch-off ticket. Woohoo! Uh, let's see. Lag Weasel rolled a 9. So he got some uh, federal grant funds. So he'll receive $1,000. And our poor friend Chamberry, uh, he just suffered a really nasty flat tire. And he will be owing the bank $500 for the repair of that vehicle. That, that is all the rolls I have at this time while it is being recorded. I sure, I'm sure I will get more soon. As soon as everybody kind of comes back into the server and does what they're supposed to. And checks the Discord and all that fancy jazz. We've got a couple players on the server. They've been they've been absent of late, and I'm not blaming them because they've been playing SnowRunner. They haven't really been absent. They just haven't been spending as much time as they used to. But SnowRunner's out, and I understand that because that game is very, very cool, and it's very engrossing once you get into it. And uh, it's very time-demanding, that game is. You can sink hours and hours and hours into that game. But they are maintaining their properties. And they're keeping up with their farms. You just don't see them around as much as, much as you used to. But then again, I've been away from the server for three and a half days because I had to work. So I haven't been around either. Check something here. All right, sorry. Just making sure my OBS was working correctly. You know, I could edit these parts out, but what fun is that? Because then you can see me make a fool of myself. All right, so once we get this sold, we're going to get a trailer. We're going to go ahead and buy a milk tanker. That's $25,000. And we're going to sell a couple loads of milk. And then after that, I have to get straw off of... I purchased the straw off of Gizmo's Field. So I went ahead and contracted out uh, a certain amount of straw for the year. And I think Gizmo's going to fill some of that. And maybe Lagweasel will fill what's left. He's kind of working on his fields right now to make sure he's got enough for his operation. Like I said, I do not plant grains, so I have to buy straw from other players. And in the comments, people are like, they've a couple of people was like, why not? I'm like, because why? It's, it's I'm, you know, it's not the most efficient way of doing things, but it's fun, and it stimulates an economy and um, things of that nature. Okay, so there's another twelve thousand. So we're up over a hundred and two thousand dollars. Man, we're making that money. Making that big money.
I like it. All right. Let's um, tell you what. I'm going to jump away. I'm going to grab that tanker. And we'll be right back. Alrighty, we are up here at the shop, and I've been thinking there's a couple ways we can go about doing this. We can go with the universal tanks, um, which are nice, and they're kind of cool, and they're neat looking. I even thought about like buying a bunch of these IBC containers and filling them with milk, and then taking, you know, take, but eh, I, I could have, I can do all those options. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go with just the in-game tanker. I like this thing, and I haven't really used it much. I think it's pretty cool. We can go with the stainless steel. We can go. I think. I think we're gonna go. The chrome is nice, but I like the way the stainless steel looks. I think that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with the stainless steel. Oh my gosh, that adds four thousand dollars. I guess we're going with chrome. <laughs> or so I can lease it for twelve hundred and seventy-five dollars. And, um. But we're gonna take we're gonna be taking a lot of milk. And I think it'll just be worthwhile to go ahead and buy it. I, th I believe that'll be, probably be the safe bet. So that's what we're gonna do. Although I know there I know that uh, the universal tanks are nice and we already have a tank that we put water in, but this is gonna be our dedicated tank for the cows. Now it is dollied and that makes it a little bit more difficult, but no biggie there. All right. Let's grab our handy dandy new trailer. Oh no. I just ran into the flower box. Plus, it kind of matches the dudes. I think it's the perfect size for our little our little farm. I think it is. Gotta turn our gotta turn our four ways on, our hazards, or blinkers, whatever you want. We'll take the back road in. I have to get these roads finished. So, um, oh, I didn't tell you. I put in new fields. I have this big grass field here that's put in for hay. I also have this field right here that I planted. Uh, that is sunflowers. We're going to have sunflowers there. And it looks like something filled. I've got a bunch of these, uh, I mean, not so many, but a little failed to germinate spot here. But look at all these little... This is stuff I planted over the winter, and so it has withered. And this is the corn I just planted. And I, I, I planted this these fields when the ground temperature... We were still within planting date, but the ground temperature was a little low. And I think that's why you have crop failure. This field I planted when the ground temperature was okay. And I have no crop failure. So ground temperature and moisture play a big role in creating those random, um, those little random effects. I need to finish these roads. I just haven't done it yet. I thought I'd save that for another episode. Come in here and we'll paint these roads. I also have a plan for those little trees right there. Just those, the, those three little trees and that kind of that grass patch. I have a plan for that that I'll be, uh, be working on again soon. Got all kinds of plans. All kinds of stuff I want to do. Alright, we gotta get this. We gotta get this milk sold so we can go start picking up straw off of Gizmos fields. Alright. Start filling the milk. Magically transfers over. I still wish you had auto hoses. I know there's the man the manure thing that has the hose mod, and and that's pretty cool. But man, like I I just I like I don't know. I would like it if there are auto hoses. I would. All right, let's go to the bakery, sell a tank of milk, fresh milk. I think in real real life they do milk by pounds. I mean, here in the states, I think they do they do whole milk by pounds because it's uh, and then you get paid based upon like fat content and other things. They really don't do it by liquid volume; they do it by different metrics. I'd say it's probably the same over in Europe. Okay, could be wrong. I know for the game's sake, though, it's just easier just to do everything in a singular volume type. 
Right, we should be able to pull over this grate and dump our our milk magically into this grate and mix it with all you know they'll sort it all out eventually they'll sort everything out can't remember does this have an unload animation probably not no and we are selling our milk da, da, da. we are the milkman so I'm gonna call this episode the milkman man come on money five thousand three hundred eighty nine dollars so pretty much we'll pay off this tank with five loads once we've taken five loads of milk we've broke even on the tank purchase and then from there um, it really doesn't cost us anything to keep the tank but again at five thousand three hundred eighty nine dollars a load technically I could lease it twenty something times <laughs> for the same deal that's right, I could lease this tanker 20-something times for the same amount. But I, I plan on selling lots of milk, I'm hoping. Pro I should, I'm, I'll probably be taking a couple loads every day eventually, selling milk. So We'll recoup the cost on this. Again, I think, it's, I think I'm starting to see that it's worthwhile to buy machinery and equipment that you use a lot. If you don't use it a lot, it's really not beneficial in any way to purchase it. It's not. You're just better off leasing the product. Especially the really expensive stuff. I mean, I could be wrong. And more than likely I am. Because I am wrong a lot. Alright, so. Oh, I should have took out that 104 liters out of the. Ah, well, it's alright. We'll leave it there for now. Excuse me, I just had a big yawn there. Oh my. Coffee hasn't kicked in yet. All right, let's get this sold. Let's get this sold off. And we will uh, work on getting the straw in. Whole lot going on in the farm sim world this week. A lot of stuff. Uh, Nitro Dad, a friend of mine, Nitro Dad, he released a new 4X map called Georgetown, New York. I plan on doing a video on that. Hopefully that'll be out this week. If, if everything works out as well as I want it to, it should be out this week. Um, of course, I, I've been doing three episodes of No Man's Land a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, and also this week, I may squeeze in an American Farmer episode. Uh, I don't know yet, though. because I'm trying to do that with real time. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of something I can do on there. So, maybe doing that. Probably doing some SnowRunner. Maybe some other stuff. Who knows? I have the itching to play some World of Warships lately. I haven't played in a while. And I love World of Warships. But I haven't, like I said, I haven't been able to play in a while. So, $5,389 per load so far today. Today's been a good day. We have made... $802 in property income, $10,778 in milk, and $28,748 in harvest income. Our most profitable day in a while, even with the purchase of the milk tanker. All right, I'm going to take the tanker back, stow it away someplace nice and neat, and I'll be grabbing the loading wagon and heading up to Gizmo's joint. Be right back. All right, we're pulling in here to Gizmo's place. <laughs> TPA, TPA. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, he gave me he gave me a key to the gate there. He's not home right now. He had to go work his uh, other job. You know, he's a farmer in the virtual world, but like all of us, we all have other jobs to do. I'll close the gate on my way out. I think we're gonna gotta head back this way. I think. Not exactly sure best way to get in. Uh, looks like we may have like a road up here. Let's go this way. Really don't spend a whole lot of time on Gizmo's property. I haven't done a farm tour yet. I'm hoping to do that this week with him. Whenever our schedules line up. He is in the UK. 
and I am in the United States, so sometimes our schedules don't match up too well. But I know he's done a lot of work here on his uh, his property. He's got this uh, while we're here. I mean, he's kind of got this little sawmill set up going on here. Isn't that cool. Then he's got all the trees planted. Look at that. That is so cool. He's done a great job on his property. Really has. He's really, really uh, embraced the whole feel of the game. And, uh, really, really enjoyed playing with him. I really have. And he's fun to talk to. And it's kind of cool. Um, I really enjoy... The best part about gaming, um, just in general, is you're able to meet people from all over the world. And I think it's it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful experience. It's an enlightening experience. I think you learn so much about each other. And uh, I really think that's what more of the world needs. We need more people gaming. Spending time with each other. Learning about each other. Learning about all the things that everybody has to deal with. Because at the end of the day, most of our lives, no matter where we live, pretty much the same. You know, we all have our struggles and our, our things we have to deal with. Um, and, you know, we all just like to video game to relax and enjoy ourselves. And uh, just, I think, I think the world needs more of it. So every time I hear people criticize video games, I'm like, eh, you guys don't know. You really don't understand. I think a lot of people just don't understand how, uh, how complete strangers... We can, we can get to know each other in ways where we don't even know our real neighbors. And some people may say that's sad, but I think that's awesome. I think it's great to make connections with people all over the world. And, uh, you know, you never know. I might go to the UK one day. And I'm going to tell Gizmo. It's like, hey, man, I'm coming to the UK. I'm, I'm going to go. And, uh, you know, I know we've never met in real life, but I don't know anybody else in the UK except for Gizmo. And Jamberry, he's there in London. I know there's some other people. Like Alien Jim. I think he's over there, right? There's <laughs> a bunch of other food. Probably should have put a weight on the front. Because she's getting a little sloppy, but then again, that's lagging a little. And there it goes. I got up there into the high 60s and 70s. So, the straw. <laughs> There, there was my little social rant for the day. Um, the straw is, uh, again, it's a contract. I'm paying $50 per thousand liters is what I'm paying for the straw. And um, maximum 250,000 liters. That's, that's, but I may buy more if there's more available. I, see, I'm lagging all of a sudden. I'm going to stop moving for a minute let the server catch up. So I don't know. I know Lagweasel. The only other person on right now is Lagweasel. He's been real quiet up there. Over there in field 21. Let's see, let's see if we can spy on him. Let's see what he's doing. Ooh, he's planting. He's planting something. Wow, he's, he's already harvested all of his fields and replanted everything <laughs> in corn. Man, that guy is a machine. Lag Weasel is a machine, people. He has hundreds of hours on his tractor already. I only have like 41. <laughs> he is a machine. Gizmo is too, man. This guy, they're putting so many hours in. So many hours. But everybody has. Everybody's putting so much time into this. Bintar sent me a message the other day. He's like, oh, I'm going to set up my farm to be kind of auto mode for a while because I'm going to go play SnowRunner. <laughs> it's good for him, man. Good for him. I hope he enjoys it. All right, first load down. So $24,500. So what is that? 12, uh, let's see, 24,500. That's 24,000 times 50. So what, 12? We're looking at $1,200. Yeah, twelve hundred dollars and fifty cents a load. Not twelve hundred, like twelve fifty a load or something like that. I can't remember. Something like that. He 
he's gonna he put a fence through here and I think he's gonna gate put a little gate right there to tie into this road which will be really nice because then I can kind of just cut across here and I will have a road that ties into my farm this way after I build what's gonna be built here still not gonna tell you you'll have to wait and see I'll get these roads painted in. Like I said, I might do that in the next episode. We gotta drive over them a little bit to kinda get the wear pattern down. Wouldn't that be cool if the game did that? Like the more you drove on an area, it would start um, it would start creating roads where you drove. Oh ha ha. Alright modders, get to work. Just teasing. Just teasing. Alright, start filling up the hayloft. We're going to put as much of this in the, sh the hayloft at first. I already have some in there. I have like 30,000 liters left. So it should hold another 220. So most of, most of what we pick up off of, uh, off of the field there. And then anything else less we'll put in the bins. Now eventually I want to get rid of that shed because the snow is driving me nuts. It is. It's driving me absolutely bonkers. Let's see how much we got. Let's see. Yep. So, 40, 40k right now. You can hold 250. So I'm paying $50, which is almost twice as much as the shop. But it's still a way better deal than me buying it from the store. Because how many? How much is a how much is a bale of straw? Six hundred fifty for four thousand. I mean, so I'm paying. I'm only paying two hundred dollars for every four thousand. Yeah. Yeah, a third of the price. That's a deal. I'll take it any day. Let's drive back over to Gizmos. Don't be afraid to comment. Let me know what you think in the series. This week, my plan is... I got this episode today. I'm hoping to do another farm tour episode with somebody. Uh, Gizmo, Nostalgic Farmer, Village, Lag Weasel, any of those folk, wonderful folks. I plan on doing another farm tour video this week. Uh, we also will be mowing some hay. That needs to be done. We'll be harvesting the canola. And I'm sure there will be other tasks that we can come up with. Definitely be feeding the cows. Be working on the property, putting in some roads. Um, and then I don't think this week we'll get to it. Or at least the videos won't come out this week. I might be recording this week. But we're probably going to start bailing. That's what I'm trying to make as much money as I can right now. Because I need uh, $100,000 for the square, square baler. Because I'm going to go square bales and not round bales. And that's just because if I ever get into the straw harvest add-on, you have to have square bales anyways. But I think I'm going to get that little coon, in-game coon square baler. It's like 105000 And if I can't afford it, we'll definitely probably lease it. But that's probably a piece of equipment we'll be using pretty regularly. Baler. And eventually, um, at first, we'll probably have to do manual loading, which I'm okay with. Um, but eventually, I'd like to get like a nice auto loader, and one of those Anderson pickup trailers, something like that. Be nice, definitely. It's, oh, so Hoff Bergman came out. I don't know if you all know. I, I, I was. Earlier, I was talking about Georgetown, New York by Nostalgic Farmer. That is out. That is a 4X map based upon a real-life area in the state of New York. It's a very, very cool map. It has included productions into the map, some different types. Uh, it is seasons ready, does not require a global company script, um, and it's a very, very detailed map, extremely detailed map. And like I said, I will be doing a video of that. Hopefully, that will be out this week. Also, I will uh, 
I want to look at Hoff Bergman. Farmer Klein put out a video of Hoff Bergman and that map looks really really cool and there's a lot of stuff to do with that. Farmer Andy put out a new version of Hoff Bergman. Again, does not require a global company for it. So if you're not a fan of the global company script, there you go. Or if you just don't want to use it, there you go. I really wish people would stop making silos that use the global company script. Really? Huh. You know, let's, uh, let's force you to use some script so you can just use a silo. That's silly. I think it's silly. Personally. But we'll be playing that, or be looking at that map. I may do a series on that map. Um, it's really calling to me. It's calling to me. I have some pretty good ideas on how to make that fun. Maybe even kind of role play it a little. Got some ideas. I like that stuff. Of course, we're going to be here for a long time. Love this map. Having tons of fun on it. And we have just scratched the surface for all that it can bring you. I think. That's what we're gonna call it quits, people. You'll know what I you know what I'm gonna be doing for the next little bit. We'll be just picking up straw. Like I said, I've contracted out two hundred and fifty thousand liters, and by the looks of it, we're probably gonna get all of it off of this field. I mean I already have taken one load. This will be our second load. And I don't know, there may be ten loads here. If not, we will definitely get the rest of it from another farm. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. And until next time, stay safe, take care. See you later. Bye.